Hello friends, this is me Lakshmi Girish of class 9 from Silver Hills Public School. So today we are going to discuss from the chapter 11, work and energy. So I am going to take a part of this chapter which is energy. So the objectives today we are going to study understanding about energy, forms of energy, different types of energy, kinetic energy, potential energy and law of conservation of energy. So what is energy? Life is impossible without energy. So in our daily life, we often use this word energy, like we say a person is energetic or not. So where do we get this energy? We get this energy from food. So but actually the energy means something else. In physics, we have a different meaning on that. So let's see with some examples. So when a ball touches a stationary stems, the stems will not move. So when we throw this, this a small ball to a stationary stems with slow speed, it will not touch. The stationary stems will not move. Whereas the same ball is hit with a, a faster speed, the stationary stems gets thrown away. So in this example, in this example, this ball possesses an energy to do work. So in the above example, the ball have the capacity to do work. If the ball possess an energy, it have the capacity to do work. So in this, an object acquires the capability of doing work through different means. Like when we are throwing, it's a different means. So we can say that if the object have a capability to do work, is said to possess an energy. So there are different forms of energy. Mechanical energy, which includes kinetic and potential energy, heat energy, chemical energy, electrical energy, light energy, and etc. So what is the unit of energy? The capacity to do work is called energy. As we know that the capacity to do work is called energy. And the energy is a scalar quantity which has only magnitude, not direction. It does not have direction. The SI unit of work and energy is the same which is joule. And the larger unit of energy which is 1 kilojoule is equal to 1000 joule. The smaller unit of energy which is 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule. So who founded this SI unit of energy which is Joule? The SI unit of energy and work is Joule which was named after a physicist James Prescott Joule and he also was best known for his research in electricity and thermodynamics. He also formulated a law for heating effect of electric current and also verify the law of conservation. So now let's discuss about kinetic energy. A moving object can do work. An object which is moving faster can do more work than the object which is relatively slow. So when an object is thrown or like, like moving, if, if the object is moving with a slow speed, it can do work. So we call the energy which is possessed by the object which is in motion is called kinetic energy. When the objects are in motion, it possesses an energy called kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy of a moving body with a constant velocity will be equal to the work done to make acquire that velocity of that object. So the kinetic energy of an object increases with the speed. With the speed is increasing of that object, the kinetic energy will also increase. So the examples of kinetic energy, flowing of water, a running athlete, and kicking a football. So now let's express the, derive the equation of kinetic energy. So let's consider an object of mass m, which is moving with a uniform velocity, which is u. When a force F which acts on it in the direction of its displacement, it will be displaced through a distance which is S. So we know that work is equal to, work done is equal to force into displacement. So when the work done on the object cause a change in velocity, the velocity will change into initial velocity to final velocity. Thus there will be an acceleration formed. So now the equation which relates the connection 
of initial velocity, the final velocity of an object which is moving with the uniform velocity and the displacement which is v square minus u square is equal to 2 as. This gives us s is equal to v square minus u square by 2 a. So, we know that the second Newton's second law which is gives you the equation f is equal to m a. Thus, we can write the work done by the done by the force acting on that object is work done is equal to m a into v square minus u square by 2 a which will give you which will give you half m v square minus u square. So, if the object is starting from rest whereas the initial velocity of the object is 0 then the work done on that object will be half m v square. So, thus the kinetic energy possessed by an object of mass m which is moving with a uniform velocity is called kinetic energy is equal to half m v square. So, in this if we hold the rubber band and it pulls from the other end the band stretches and when we release the band at one of the ends it will tend to regain its original shape. So, in this when the rubber band is stretching the energy is being stored you transfer the energy when you stretch it. When we stretch the rubber band, we transfer the energy. So, in the above situation, the energy gets stored due to the work done on that object. When we stretch the work, the energy is being stored. So, the energy that is transferred to an object is stored as potential energy if it is not caused to use a change in velocity or speed of the object. If the potential energy is being stored, so it cannot you be used to change in velocity or speed of that object. So, the potential energy possessed by the object is the energy which is present in it by the virtue of its position or configuration. So, the examples of potential energy are archery and stretching of rubber band. So, now let us take a look at the potential energy of an object at a height. So, when an object is raised through height, its energy increases. So, this is because when the work done on the object is against the gravity while it is being raised. So, the energy which is present in that object will be the gravitational potential energy. So, let us derive the equation of the potential energy. So, let us consider of mass an object of mass m is raised through a height h from the ground. A force, so a force will be required to raise the object from the ground which will be equal to the weight of the object which is mg. So, the object gains energy which is equal to the work done on the object. So, let the work done on the object against gravity be w. So, we know that the work is equal to force into displacement. So, mg which is mass into acceleration due to gravity into h the height which will give you mgh. So, thus the potential energy of an object of mass m which is raised through a height h is equal to potential energy is equal to mgh. So, if the, the work done by the gravity depends on the vertical heights of the initial and final position not through which the object is being moved or raised. So, as in the figure you can see that there is two blocks and this two blocks is raised through two different paths to a b which is the height. So, by two different paths the, the two blocks is being raised. So, let us take the a b which is the height as h, then the work done in both of the objects will be m g h. Next, let us go to the law of conservation of energy. Forms of energy can be changed from one to another, but it cannot be created nor destroyed. So, what, the, what happens to the total energy system during or after the process? 
whenever the energy gets transformed the total energy gets unchanged that is known as the law of conservation so according to this law according to the law of conservation the energy can only be converted from one to another it cannot be created or destroyed so consider an object of mass m which is made freely fall from a height h so at that time the potential energy is mgh so and its kinetic energy will be zero so the total energy of the object will be mgh so when it falls the potential energy will decrease the potential energy will change into kinetic energy so if the v is the velocity at given instant the kinetic energy of that object will be half mv square as the object continues to fall the potential energy decreases and the kinetic energy increases as shown in this picture which is an object is being set in the stationary position now so the potential energy is 10 and the kinetic energy is zero so when it rolls down the potential energy is decreasing and going and the kinetic energy is maximum at last so however the sum of the kinetic and potential energy will be the same or constant so the mgh plus half mv square will only be constant so the sum of the kinetic energy and the potential energy of an object will be its total mechanical energy so through this we can find that the, during the free fall of the object the potential energy the decrease in potential energy at any of the points will be equal to the increase in the kinetic energy so there is also continuous transformation of gravitational potential energy to kinetic energy so let's look at some exercises an object of mass 15 kg is moving with a uniform velocity of 4 meter per second what is the kinetic energy possessed by the object so the mass of the object as we know it is 15 kg and the velocity is 4 meter per second so we know that the kinetic energy is equal to half mv square so half into mass which is 15 kg into v square which is 4 into 4 will get 120 joule so the kinetic energy of that object is 120 joule next question an object of mass 12 kg is at a certain height above the ground so if the potential energy of the object is 480 joule find the height at which the object is with respect to the ground given g is equal to 10 meter per second square so in this question they have given the potential energy so we have to find the height of that object so the mass of the object is 12 kg and the potential energy given in the question is 480 joule so we know that the potential energy is equal to mgh so 480 joule is equal to mass and the gravity acceleration due to gravity and the height which we want to be found so h is equal to 480 by 120 which we will give you 4 meter so the object is at the height of 4 meter so find the energy possessed by an object of mass 10 kg when it is at a height of 6 meter above the ground so given the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square so the mass of the object is given as 10 kg and the displacement is which is the height is 6 meter so the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meter per second square so the potential energy as we know is mgh so 10 kg which is the mass into 9.8 meter per second square into 6 which is 588 joule so the potential energy of the object is 588 joule so in this section we learned about what is energy different forms of energy kinetic energy potential energy and the law of conservation of energy so i hope you all enjoyed this section thank you